putting aside divisions that go back centuries. For the first time ever, a pope and a Russian Orthodox patriarch have agreed to sit down together. The Holy See has been working on this initiative for decades, but previous attempts to arrange such a meeting failed, as the Russian Orthodox Church has long been suspicious of Rome's intentions. For years, it accused the Holy See of trying to aggressively convert Eastern Europeans, particularly in Ukraine, where the Orthodox Church has struggled to maintain its influence since the collapse of the Soviet Union. There was also a lot of suspicion about John Paul II, the Polish Pope, who was perceived as being deeply anti-Russian. Now Moscow is far more comfortable with Pope Francis. Unlike his predecessors, he's not European and doesn't claim authority over all Christians. Under Benedict XVI, the meeting between the Pope and the Russian Patriarch could have happened. Maybe in Vienna or Paris, but these cities carried the weight of history. The long-standing battle between the two churches. Francis, on the other hand, is only the Bishop of Rome. And crucially, he's not European. He doesn't have this heavy historical baggage. Francis and Kirill, however, couldn't be more different. The Russian patriarch comes from an institution that's become increasingly powerful in post-Soviet Russia. He's also deeply involved in politics and a staunch supporter of President Vladimir Putin, calling him a miracle from God. Kirill himself is a skilled diplomat. He's widely believed to have played a key role in persuading Putin to intervene in Syria, not just to protect President Bashar al-Assad, but also crucially to stop thousands of Christians from being persecuted, a concern also shared by Pope Francis.